Chinese New Year is around the corner. New Year is like the perfect opportunity to deck out the home with florals and greens. This three-step decor works perfect for all apartment entrances, hallways, or porches. My home entrance, like all typical apartments, has a narrow hallway around one to two meters wide. Therefore, I like to pick bright, vivid colors to decorate in this dim lighting. Often, when I buy from the markets, these pots of flowers come in a not so appealing plastic pot. During Chinese New Year, it might be wrapped with gold or red paper. That can appear to be quite tacky. Decorating the entrance with one pot is just not enough. When it comes to multiple pots lining them up one by one, it looks like a hotel entrance. Instead, I like to decorate them in cluster. For my standard doorway, I would use two of these flowers and plant them in a wooden cart or anything that just blends into the environment. Nothing that stands out, so that all focus are on these beautiful cyclamen persicum. So now, first part of the decor is done. Stay tuned for part two and part three. Part two of this Chinese New Year entrance is to give this entryway some height to create a more dramatic effect. To create that effect, you can use a vase that is 60 to 70 centimeters tall. When it comes to buying a vase that tall, it is challenging because vases that high are either too wide or they just look like a cylinder, a bit flat. Therefore, to create the same effect, I would use a vase that is around 40 centimeters tall. Not only is it easier to change out the water daily, it is also easier and more economical to source something in that size. Not to say how fun the selection is. To attain the same desired height, I would just use a stand or a platform to elevate the vase. Once we have all that set, it's time to cover up the vase and the stand. To decorate the vase, all I need to do is drape any fabric of my choice loosely around the vase and finish it off with a loosely tied ribbon. Since it is Chinese New Year, I chose a fabric that has a red and white pattern, giving it a nice contrast to the dimly lit hallway. Since Chinese New Year can last for up to two to three weeks, I selected the bridal wreath spiral as this flower has a long lifespan of almost a month. The best thing is they give off a refreshing floral aroma that lingers in your hallway. There I have my entrance decor. If you prefer not to hang anything down from the ceiling, the decoration is now ready to go for the festive celebrations. However, if you also want to hang something from the ceiling, stay tuned for part three. It's time for our final step of our Chinese New Year entrance decorations. Previously, I shared with you the first and second step of our entrance. If you have a ceiling, this is a crucial part. When it comes to Chinese decorations, often lanterns will be used. The generic Chinese lanterns are made with red and gold paper. That is definitely a no. Instead, I use two silk lanterns with a high contrasting pattern. Two lanterns allowing for two different hanging height to give it a more dynamic look. For the ceiling, I added a line of fall red berries hanging from the light strip. The key is buying the perfect size, not too big and not too small to hang it down. There are too many ap appealing options online, but however, getting the right one is not easy. So now here I go, my doorway is set up for Chinese New Year. So here I would like to wish you a happy Chinese year and Gongxi Fa Cai.